Hello, I'm going to go over how to turn your boom cards into a file that you can use to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I've actually created these templates um, with all the pieces. So I'm going to download this as a PowerPoint in a minute so I can show you how I do my boom cards. But if you are using the templates on Google Slides, you can drag over all the pictures. And when you're ready to do your link, you can actually link it directly on here. So if you're using my templates, you can actually download this as a PowerPoint if you would like, or you can work within the um, Google Slides document. I personally like to work in PowerPoint, so I'm going to download it as a PowerPoint. So when you download the file as a PowerPoint, it's going to have all the same things in it. And you can actually pick and choose which cover you want, which these are all the same. This is actually the direct how to use Boom cards um, terms and conditions from the Boom website that you have to have in all of your Teachers Pay Teachers um, items. So they're just different colors, but they all say the terms that you need. And then you can add in your own terms of use. You're con you're, this is a blank page to add without social media icons, or you can hyperlink them here with the icons. And then I have a couple templates for uh, highlights and then your previews that you'll have. So I actually picked my favorite ones from my templates to make the ones I put on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm going to go through the process of using my newly converted template. So, so one of the main things you're going to need if you're selling on Teachers Pay Teachers is the secret link. So I'm going to copy the secret link and then I'm going to paste it on my next um, template. So I've gotten back to my template and right where it says click here, I've actually inserted a transparent rectangle to go over that since it's flattened. That way it'll make it clickable now. So I will go to edit link. This one actually has an old link on it. And I'm going to add that paid link. And then I'm going to change the title. So this was fractions on a number line. On my picture, I'm going to enter a picture of the boom card. So let me go back to my pictures. And I like to just pick one of my slides. Okay. Now it looks like it's in the iPad. So then I'm going to come over to my highlights and give a few highlights about why this resource is valuable. Okay. Now for my preview, I'm going to do three more slides to show off the three different cards. And then just like the first one, I like to come in and put it right on top of the iPad. Voila. All right, and then I'm gonna put my hand just over here next to the drag and drop, so. There we go. All right, um, these stay the same because I use the same template. So now I can save these as a PDF. So I'm going to go to File, Save a Copy. And instead of template, I'm going to call this Feeding the Monster 
fraction number line. And I have to make sure to download it as a PDF or to save it as a PDF. And I actually have my boom cards all in one place. Now, I also use this for my preview on Teachers Pay Teachers. So what I do is save this slide individually as a PNG file. So I'm saving it as preview monster number line. It's going to be saved as a PNG file. And I'm going to place it in my boom card section under previews. Okay. So now you have your PDF. I'm going to show you what it looks like as a PDF. All right, so here is our PDF. It has everything that we put in. And now when they hover over the link, you can see it has the clickable link. When they click it, it'll take them to the page. I like to click the link just to make sure it's going to the right place. And as you can see, it says to redeem here, so that means that we got it right. Now that I got my file done, I'm going to make my thumbnails. So I actually use Canva for all my templates. Um, I did a similar Feed the Monster fraction, so I just duplicated it to make it easier. And then I need to add number line now. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Make sure everything is decent. Okay, once I like my background, then I'm going to add my picture similar to what I did on the other templates. And I don't need this little arrow. I'm going to fix the 20 cards because this one's actually 15 cards. And then I'm going to change this color too. Two yellow. Okay. Don't need the video. Now I'm on Teachers Pay Teachers and I've gone to um, upload a new product. So I'm going to call this number line fraction boom cards. I like to keep the titles a little bit more simple on Teachers Pay Teachers because Feed the Monster is not going to show up very well in search results. I've already um, pasted basically what I use for all of my boom cards. I actually save this whole long thing in um, a Word doc and then just paste it each time. So I make sure and let them know it's gonna come in a PDF. Here's the standard boom terms, even though we have them on the templates, I also include them here as well. Um, you can include your preview link down here to the actual boom website. And then of course I just do related products and then my follow me and all that good stuff. So on the top is where I give the information about the number line fractions. So for my boom cards, I actually copy and paste exactly what I've put in boom learning. So that way it'll be consistent. So there's my description. Now I have to enter the files. So I have to come back over to where I have my boom files. And 
and then I enter my preview that I saved as a PNG. Once everything's uploaded, I keep it consistent with the pricing on Boom Learning. I make sure and tag all the right things. Um, you need to put internet activities as one of yours. I always put task cards, and if it's math, I put math centers. And then I have my own custom category for Boom Cards, so I always select that. If you have standards, that you know match, you can select that as well. So I'm going to come over to standards and select my fraction on number lines, third and fourth grade standards. Alright, 15. This is boom card, so it's self grading. And then create. Okay, there we go. And then there is my boom cards.